You know, every time I'm given the ability to rewind time, I can't help but think, life is strange. So strange that they should make a video game. A strange video game. Well, strangely enough, they did. Today, Brittany reviews the strange game, Life is Strange. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go hang out with Doctor Strange and practice not talking to strangers. Strange. We all wish that we had the power to turn back time at some point in our lives. Well, for Maxine Caulfield, a photography senior at Arcadia Bay, that spontaneously happens one night after a giant crazy storm. But was it a storm? Or was it a dream? She wakes up and finds herself in the middle of class, which is where the first episode starts. So what's really happening? Life is Strange is a five-part episodic game that sets out to revolutionize story-based choice and consequence games by allowing the player to rewind time and affect the past, present, and future. Every choice will have a consequence and every choice will enact the butterfly effect. Quoting Wikipedia, in the game, story and character development serve as a central point rather than traditional graphic adventure tropes like point and click puzzles. The player's actions will be able to adjust the narrative as it unfolds and reshape it once allowed to travel back in time. Themes of memory and identity are used to convey a sense of nostalgia in the realm of adolescence, while the allegory of inner struggle comes from the mystical aspects featured. A shorter version of that is that the story is unique and unlike any other traditional game. The player's decisions within the game, whether you rewind time or not, changes the storyline to make it unique to your choices. The developers created multiple different endings to reflect the consequences of each person's in-game choices, so you better choose carefully. Episode 1 was the first part of the journey that released back in January, and as of just a few days ago, episode 2 released. It's said that each episode is going to release about 6 weeks apart from each other, which leaves lots of room for anticipation and excitement. I think this storyline so far is really exciting too. Max is becoming something of an everyday hero. In the beginning of episode 1, she actually saves a girl's life! And a main point of the plot is to find out what happened to a girl who mysteriously disappears. The graphics of this game are also really great. Not the best I've ever seen, but still very striking and I did enjoy them of course. The only thing that I really wish they had put a lot more oomph into was the gigantic tornado thing at the beginning of the story. Story. The entire story is based around this giant storm, yet it's not as detailed as I think they could have made it. I also really like the interactions with the world. It is pretty straightforward as to what your goal is and where you should be going, but you can't get quite sidetracked by snooping around and things and talking to everyone you pass. I spent almost a half hour just talking to everybody on the school campus and finding out more about the girl who disappeared. It all plays into the butterfly effect theory, and the more things that you find out I'm assuming is going to help you down the road. I've played most of episode 1, but I cannot get this game out of my mind, and I'm definitely anxious to start playing the rest of the episodes. If you guys are interested in seeing my gameplay of this game, then you can check it out on my channel, Brits Games. There is a link down below in the description box. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Or maybe I already saw you, but I rewound time, and this is a do-over. You'll never know. Hello and welcome! My name is Britt, and today we are starting a new series. This one is called Life is Strange. I saw Lauren's side play this game, and it looked really awesome. So I stopped watching her gameplay. This way I wouldn't ruin it for me. So I do know a little bit, but not a lot. What I do know is that the main character can rewind time and it's really cool. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.